Okay, so here's the new skirting around the trailer. It's uh, flexible skirting attached with uh, uh, turn buttons. Turn buttons rather than snaps, which I really like the idea of that. See, they just turn like that, and uh, so they can't come loose, you know, whether they're pulled or whatever, like snaps do. Um, it turned out really well. It's still, I'm letting it hang for a couple of days to get the wrinkles out of it. But here, uh, basically, is the way it goes. They just uh, set up and drill a series of holes along and and, uh, and put the snaps on. Uh, or I should say the turn buttons, the snaps. They do have snaps, just on where the slide is, so that uh, it doesn't interfere with the rubber uh, um, uh, sealer as it does the slide slides in. <laughs> Here's the rear steps. You can see at the rear steps here they've uh, got a sec separate piece so that I can um, go ahead and undo it and put the steps down if I want to do that. Uh, you'll see on the other side that that's what we've done. Around the corner at the back, it's very tidy. They've got uh, really nice uh, cutouts around the uh, bumper pieces there so it's fully insulated. back and tied up to the tree and here we are again once again I'm gonna let the uh, wrinkles hang out first for a few days and then tuck it under there's an extra about 12 inches of extra um, thin material underneath there uh, continuing on the external layer of the uh, of the skirting so that I can turn it under or turn it out and put a brick or something on it just to keep it weighted down over the wheel well on this side here you can see they've put a a separate and extra little piece along there just to cover the, uh, the wheel wells. And uh, some, a lot of the corners they put zippers. You can see the zipper up and down there uh, that they fit in, especially in custom. They have, they bring along a trailer with uh, industrial sewing machine inside and so on so they can do custom fitting right on the site. And again here, just like the other side, there's uh, there's fitted Velcro strip down here so that if we want to put the uh, the steps back in and just undo the Velcro strips and roll up the steps and put it back in again, it works really good. I think it looks uh, pretty good. It fits pretty much along the same style as, uh, as the uh, roll-up garage there for the smart car. It's a very, very matching, matching color. The smart one is not... Uh, sort of glossy on the outside where this one is. Uh, for this time I didn't get them to uh, to put the skirting around on the uh, oops, on, <laughs> on the uh, the gooseneck portion of it because I have uh, skirting already there you can see there or I have skirting to go there already you can see I already have the, uh, the snaps in place there ready to just snap it on. But uh, what we did get them to do was uh, finish off the their portion of the skirting by putting it uh, underneath there as well, so it's fully sealed. And then I just have to put the, uh, the, the uh, uh, storage skirting back on underneath. So I think it looks pretty good. I think it uh, is going to do very well for us for the winter time. I'm going to keep everything insulated. Uh, you can see I still have to do a little uh, insulating at the at the uh, the water inlet there. Uh, just to make sure as it gets gets all in insulated, I've got it prepped so that I can uh, use the electric uh, heating tape to to go around there and then insulate it in afterwards. It pretty much uh, matches with the uh, screens that we put on there, the sunscreens. And days like this, even though it's not uh, terrifically warm out, I just get a, a huge amount of heat coming in through those uh, windows so the screening helps uh, considerably uh, from the inside it's just a like a privacy screen you can see through it but outside as you see it's pretty much opaque and you can't see in so it's privacy as well as uh, keeping the um, uh, keeping the extra sun out and just to move once one more point here I want to make is that uh, I had uh, hard plumbed in the drainage pipes and uh, what I've managed to do is have none of it exposed outside you see here it's all um, it's all covered out. So by pulling the skirting out just a little bit, I've managed to keep even the, the last bit of the drain piping underneath the skirting, so it's insulated in there, and I don't think I'll have to do anything extra to it other than that. So it looks pretty good. Good stuff. I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. These people are from Leduc, Alberta, that came to put it in. And um, um, 
as I say, they've done a really good job. I'm very, very pleased. It went in in about two hours, and that's all it took. And uh, all in all, I'm very pleased with it.